afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, it's the start of the SEM. I hope you guys are, you know, off to a great start. Hopefully a good start. <laughs> We're still doing virtual classes, no? But sige lang. Um, we'll start probably in a minute or two, no? Let's wait for the others. I only see a few of you, several now. So hopefully the others can, can join in a while. Let me share the screen. Okay. okay. Can you guys see it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have 17. Okay, we'll start in, let's give it one more minute. All right, so yeah, we can start. Now I think the others can join later. Um, all right, uh, again, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, this is our first synchronous session, and we're back to a semester mode, so which is better. No? Uh, uh, probably you guys experienced this last time. No? The quarter format was a bit stressful. No? We have fewer classes, but it was a bit, you know, the pace was quite fast. So uh, it's my course, basically, which I, uh, this is my second year of teaching this. Uh, I taught in both semesters. Uh, it's the same content. We're just spreading it. So you have more breathing, breathing room. Um, so yeah, so um, this, this session, um, just inform your classmates. No? I mean, I won't check attendance. No worries. So you're not pressured to join. Although it's ideal no? because... Usually I do the I do a recap or an introduction to the modules, um, so it's good reference as well for your classes. So, but I won't check attendance. I record them. The moment you you enter the room, it's already being recorded. So, uh, So in case, just let your classmates know in case they miss this. Um, they can. I I usually post it the next day or in the evening. Um, at the end of the. The, the corresponding module. So for example, it's a module one later, I'll post it at the end of the module. Okay, she so can. Um, so let's let's just go over the syllabus now. Some some not the entire syllabus now, but 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 the uh, the the just the meat now, the important parts. So some ground rules. Uh, I introduce myself. I also want hopefully. You guys can also introduce yourselves, so whoever's here. Um, I'll talk about uh, the course in general, give a high level overview, a bird's eye view. Um, talk about some of your graded assignments. Actually, um, we don't have a lot of assignments here, but you have major papers, especially for this course, which is more uh, current events, development economics related. It's really more about papers, getting your thoughts. Um, your, your ideas no, on paper rather than uh, objective type yes, no, true or false. I think papers are way better. Uh, I'll talk about readings as well, some class policies and <laughs> consultation sessions as well. At any time, no, um, if you can raise your hand, uh, I'll be monitoring it. Or if you have a question, you can type in the chat box as well. So again, this is being recorded. Always mute yourself unless you're speaking, uh, but please, no. 
uh, please uh, let me know first if you want to speak. You can raise your hand or you can indicate in the chat box that you want to uh, speak. Uh, cameras, uh, uh, this is a new uh, recommendation. No? Uh, before, kasi I wasn't so strict, no? but you know, it's not required, but I, I, I do hope that you guys know, switch on your cameras. No? So it, it's sort of like I can see you. <laughs> so there's more interaction. But again, it's not required, especially if you have a poor bandwidth or if you're if in your household you're sharing, you know, you have a lot of devices, um, sharing just one bandwidth. And please let me know, no, anyone, uh, if I'm breaking up. All right. So what about me? Uh, you probably so my my full real name is Emil Francis B. De Quiros. Um, I, I I I go by Jay. Um, malayo, but I mean, uh, people call me Jay. That's my nickname. Um, I I I I'm an Ateneo alumnus um, since prep. I, I did management economics. <laughs> I graduated 21 years ago. Uh, I did my master's in Pittsburgh, in Carnegie Mellon University in public policy and management uh, more than 10 years ago. Uh, yeah, my memory serves me right. I'm currently working at uh, the United States Agency for International Development. That's my full-time uh, work. No? So that's basically uh, the, that's part of the U.S. Embassy here in the Philippines, but it's, it's the development arm. No? So we have projects in health, education, economic development, uh, democracy and governance, etc. So we help uh, some of the government counterparts no, um, in terms of, of achieving better development outcomes. So that's my full-time job. This is just teaching. It's just a part-time <laughs> job for me. Uh, so I only teach, uh, I will be teaching two classes this semester. My previous career, I, I worked for the World Bank, another donor or another uh, international organization that, that helps governments and other uh, sectors uh, achieve better development outcomes. I also uh, worked for the government uh, early on in my career. Uh, it's what you call the National Anti-Poverty Commission and also uh, non-government as well. There's this group in Esteban Abadan called Peace and Equity Foundation. Um, they would deal with social enterprises. Uh, and there's also this digital divide group called Foundation for Media Alternatives that's now <laughs> doing a lot of uh, um, work against uh, disinformation. So I worked uh, uh, shortly with them almost 20 years ago. Again. So I also did, I don't know if you've heard about the Jesuit volunteers, JVP. No? I also uh, was a Jesuit volunteer. Uh, right after I graduated. So I was assigned you know, to uh, in Zamboanga, Zamboanga City. I was a, a teacher of economics in Ateneo de Zamboanga. So that was my first experience teaching. You know, so I, and, and I liked it so much that when they, they, the Department of Economics was calling for applications, I applied to be a teacher you know, last year. So I got the job. So my email address, as you can see there, is edikiros at ateneo.com. All right, so uh, I, I'd like to know you guys did the man. So, um, so maybe uh, we'll go around. No, uh, again, hopefully you can turn on your switch on your cameras. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, if, if you have poor bandwidth, just no problem. Uh, maybe just go around. I'll call you one by one uh, based on who's here. No? Uh, go around. Just tell me your name and your nickname. Most likely, you're already using your nickname on Zoom. I used to uh, I used to uh, have my classes in Google Meet, but I think Zoom is better. Um, so, Sige, let's go around. No? Uh, name and Nick, so at least I can uh, get to know you better. At least we have the whole semester. No? Kasi quarters, it's really hard to remember your students. Uh, there's it's a chat. Okay, no problem. No, whoever is not able to open the camera, no problem. It's okay. No worries, no worries. Hey, especially for joining from a phone, etc., etc. So yeah, let's start now. So see, Migs Francisco. Um, Hi, I'm Migs. Okay, and just in case, I, I I think all of you are management students. So just in case you have a different course, just let me make sure management. I'm sure. No? Yes, coach. Great. Uh, next is a uh, Marco Maniaol. 
Yes, sir. You can call me Marco. Thanks, Marco. Uh, Nash Zapatalo. Yes, sir. You can call me Nash. Okay, great. Uh, Christine Mariano. Hi, sir. I'm Christine, and you can call me Tin. Okay, thanks, Tin. Okay, uh, next is Vinci Valdez. Hi, sir. I'm Vinci. Okay, thanks, Vinci. Next is Enrico Monasterial. Hi, sir. You can call me Eco. Eco. All right. Yes, good. sir. Uh, next is Patrick Ecraela. Hi, sir. You can call me uh, Pat. Pat. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Next is Xu Xuan Chen. Hi, sir. You can call me Colby. Colby. All right. Great. Uh, next is Vic Ruben Ilagan. Hi, sir. Uh, you can call me Ruben. Ruben. Okay. Great. Thanks. Next is uh, Timon or Timon. Sorry. You might be speak or maybe your volume is. Hi, low. sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, my I think my earphone, my mic isn't working well again. Um, good afternoon. You can call me Timon. Thank you so much. Right. Thanks, Timon. Next yeah. is Enzo Enzo Palad. Hi, sir. You can call me Enzo. Thanks, Enzo. Uh, Dylan Osena. Hi, I'm Dylan. Also, it's pronounced Oxenia. Oxenia, all right. Sorry for that. <laughs> all right. Uh, next is Vincent uh, Raymond Laranas. Hi, sir. You can call me Vince. <clears throat> Hello? You can call me Vince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry, no, I did sort of adjusted. I don't know why. Wait, nah, someone just joined this. So maybe it messed up the... Let, sorry, let me just do the participants list. It's better. Because if I, I'm using the grid, then. sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, uh, I'll refer to the... I don't know now. To the... Uh, so I've called Taimon uh, Aliana Villanoy. Hi, sir. Um, I, I'm Aliana. You can call me Yani. Yanni. Right. Next. Next is uh, Jose Guillermo Barlin. Hi, sir. You can call me Jolo. Jolo. All right. Yes, sir. Thanks, Jolo. And then uh, I've called, called you already. I've called uh, Christine. I've Tin Marian. I've called you already. You know? Sorry, guys. I not mess up your machine. Uh, Dylan, I've called you already. Enrico, I've called you already. Enzo, I've called you. Uh, Enzo, I haven't called you. No? Enzo Palad. I see you've called me now. Ah, I called you. Yeah, 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 sorry. Um, and Julia Francesca Borromeo. Yes, sir. Hi, Po. You can call me Julia. Hi, Thanks, Julia. All right. Um, next is Liza Ortiz. Hi, sir. You can call me Liza. Thank you, Liza. All right. Uh, Mark Al Alejandro. Hi, sir. You can call me Mark. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Mark Al Alejandro. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Migs Francisco, I think I called you already. No? Yes. Uh, yes. Sorry. Parang gulo ng Zoom na yun. So Nash Zapatalo. Yes, sir. You called me already. All right. Yeah. Ah, that's right. That's right. Sorry. And then Paolo Lorenzo Santiago. Uh, hi, sir. You can call me Paolo. Sir. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Rafael Makatulad. Uh, hi, sir. You can call me Rafa. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, Vinci Valdez. That's what you called me now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And Zam Albano? Probably not yet. Hello, sir. You can call me Zam. Okay, thanks. 
Anyone else I haven't called yet? Sorry, uh, I mean, the Zoom chat list kept going around. Well, Anna, I think I've called to everyone. So yeah, thanks. No, um, yeah, for those of you, now if you can keep your if your cameras are on, I would appreciate if you can keep them on. Not required, but encouraged. So yeah, all right. <laughs> So uh, moving on, so just, just to give uh, an overview of the course, there are five main things here, the five main um, sections. Uh, first is we'll, we'll deal with problems. So we'll just cover you know, what are some of the problems, development issues around the world in the Philippines. What are they? <laughs> um, in, module, in, in, in module two, you know, in section two, it's not just about describing them, but actually how do you measure them? How do you describe and measure the different um, challenges that we've identified in module one? It's gonna be more technical. How do you define, let's say, poverty in income uh, terms, in non-income terms, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's more technical. This is more exciting, actually, um, in my opinion. Third is paradigms, no? so since before, no, there have been theories and models how a country or how cities or, or areas can develop better, no? faster, better, and more sustainable. So we'll, 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 we'll also cover that as well. Uh, the fourth is policies, no? and this will be the, the longest module, no? longest section uh, for our class. No? Some, some four main topics. No? So, First is agriculture, agrarian reform. Second is fiscal taxation. Uh, where do, does government basically get its money and how does it spend? Uh, we'll talk about population growth, demography. And one in particular that's, that's more attuned for you guys, management students, um, uh, SME development, small and medium enterprise development. So <laughs> Uh, this is something unique to JG Som that, uh, that I'm teaching, that I, that I teach. Because last semester, I taught uh, economics and MECO students and ME even. So well, it's, uh, they, they, that particular policy is different. I don't teach that <laughs> for them. This is really more for management students. And the fifth one, really, uh, in terms of practice. No? So how do you actually implement or practice all of these different things that, that you You've, you've, you've learned. So here we'll talk about a very specific thing, no? which is how does how do companies actually, what's their role in development? Because usually when you talk about development, <laughs> um, poverty, alleviation, etc., we usually have this, this tendency to think, ah, trabaho ng gobyerno yan or NGOs. Yan. But what I like you to take away from this course is, especially since you're management students, no, the private sector, companies, corporations have a, a role to play. Uh, and we'll talk about SDGs later uh, in the next session. All right. So you only actually, there are only four bases for your grade. Yeah. Online discussion. So please pay particular attention to your discussion boards. Hopefully you can uh, participate in all. No, um, it's encouraged that you also uh, comment on your classmates' posts, but it's not required. No, but at least make make it a point that you you know uh, you post yourself your ideas. Uh, individual paper, <laughs> I think that's coming up in October. Uh, that will test your uh, knowledge and application of modules one and two. That will account for twenty five percent of your grade. There's also a group. A minor one report, not really minor, it's still major, but minor relative to the final output. So it's an application of modules three and four. Um, there is, is there a chat? I thought there was a chat. All right. Um, and, and the last. Uh, the, the, the last graded output will be what we call a final integrated output. This is kind of unique, no? Um, we've tried this before, no? Uh, last year, when I was teaching management students, 
the tandem course was aside from the KISS or NSTP course, the tandem course was uh, was marketing. This time, we're gonna tie up with your Opman class. So basically, your final output will be one output that's common across SOCSI 13, NSTP Big KISS, and Opman. So, uh, okay, Migs raised his hand. Um, if I if I may ask, um, will finance and marketing also be part of this integration or no? Okay, okay. Just opman, just opman for now. So we're still finalizing the guidelines for this now because it's kind of it. It was challenging. No, we tried this last semester. It was <laughs> it was the pilot for me. In my opinion, didn't really work well. But I I I. I I think this the, the tie up with Opman is actually really I am excited for this. So but it's just Opman for now. No? So not not finance, not marketing. So you guys are also taking finance and marketing? Yes, coach. Um I was gonna ask like if we're also gonna make like a business plan for this subject. No, 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 no. no. Okay, thank you. Opman, I think Opman for this particular one. The, let me explain in brief now, but again, the guidelines will still be set around. Um, Opman, is, as you learn, no, I, I don't know if you've already met your professor. Opman is basically all about optimization, optimizing profit, optimizing processes, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, so you will focus on, I think, one or two enterprises in the selected community that you'll be engaging with in, in NSTP Big Kiss. And you'll find ways how to improve or optimize. Uh, a particular area in that ano, enterprise. So, maganda. Very, very interesting. Thanks, Coach. All right. Very nice. All right. Uh, next. I don't see any more raised hands. No? All right. So, guidelines, as I mentioned, will be issued in the next few weeks. That will account for 30% of your grade. So, <laughs> definitely, that's that, that will take the line to share. Okay, so the main reference, don't, no need to buy this book. Um, I'll be sharing the chapters. I think it's already on, I sent a link no, in Canvas. So I'm having issues with e-reserve, but I think I shared the entire book already as part of module one. So you can download that already. But aside from that, we'll also be, um, I, I pepper my course no, with uh, a lot of videos and short articles. No? Um, that's what's different about uh, asynchronous learning because for online learning, we're encouraged by, by Ateneo to, to, to put more burden on, I mean, students are expected to learn more from the modules, no, from the Canvas modules. No? The synchronous sessions will just be, uh, will serve as a complement to that. So the bulk of learning will be on Canvas, not here, not during the synchronous sessions. Because ito parang summarized version. So I will indicate naman required readings in the Canvas modules. Okay, some class policies. Um, let me know lang, ah, if, if you have questions, raise your hands. Or, so um, Canvas, as you know, is our learning management system. So if you have issues, no, let's say um, with, with, with any concern, actually, there is this one-stop portal no, that, that, that Ateneo created, the LS1. Um, and please, please be reminded that cyberbullying will never be tolerated. So you can argue, no? The point here is you can debate ideas in the discussion boards, that's fine. But be respectful. We can agree to disagree, naman, but be be diplomatic, be 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 you know, be, be uh, respectful. Definitely be gender sensitive. No gender discrimination. Uh, there is, I think, already a policy no, that Ateneo has. <laughs> and as I mentioned earlier, there will be no attendance check during uh, synchronous sessions. Uh, but this will be recorded and posted at, uh, at the end of each corresponding module. So. After tonight, maybe I'll, I'll post it tonight or tomorrow, no? um, uh, the recording. Late submissions will be accepted no? 
for your graded outputs, but there will be a five-point deduction per day delayed. So exception is if you have poor internet connectivity. Pero the catch is you still have to prove that you finish the the assignment within the allotted time no? before the deadline. Kumbaga, you have to send me a Word document where the date modified should show that it was modified before the deadline. If you're basically using uh, poor internet connectivity as your excuse. So, may kailangan may burden of proof. So, maganda rin if you give me a heads up na parang, sir, ang hirap ng internet, etc. Et so, at least I know. All right. So, um, any any volunteers for class beetle and alternate beetle, please? I'm open to. Oh, sorry. To volunteers now. Simple lang naman. I mean, because we need to report no, who our beetles will be. Um, for for our classes, no. Ano lang. In many cases, kasi sa a lot of students, they're shy, no. They don't want to approach the teacher, so it gives you some sort of anonymity. So Ruben, thank you very much, no. Thanks for being uh, the beetle. Thank you. Any volunteer for to be an alternate beetle? Meron ba? Alternate beetle. Vinci. All right. Sige. So si Ruben and si Vinci, I will email you a uh, separate B. Let me just note that down for now. No? Wait. So, Ruben. And Vinci. Okay. All right, thank you very much. All right. Okay. So again, um, the point of having a video, sometimes, you know, it, it's a liaison. If maganda to, eh, kasi sometimes, especially no, what do you call this? First semester, I, I toned down my Canvas course. No? Kasi, yeah, you can imagine, pag quarter, kasi it's really fast paced. No? I had a lot of readings at that time. No? Uh, a lot were complaining already. So they course it through the video. So at least anonymity. I'm not the type naman na gagante. No? But I mean, some people, they're scared to approach the teacher to be candid. Uh, but feel free to be candid with me as well. So sometimes you can raise concerns no, of the class with me because you know the pulse. No? Mas alam niyo yung pulso ng mga classmates. No? And remind me rin, no, to record the synchronous class sessions. No? I think I set it to record automatically every Tuesday. So, okay na yun. But just, just, just check na lang that it's really being recorded. Okay. Consultations. Uh, again, let me, I think I put this on Canvas. Um, I, <laughs> I don't want to bore you with a three-hour session every Tuesday. Uh, each session will only be uh, from one and a half to two hours. Matagal na two hours. That's really stretching it. So expect our sessions to be an hour and a half, more or less. Sometimes less even. So especially because of the semester format, we've sort of spaced out the material. So all the more that we can probably end uh, even earlier than 6.30. So don't... Uh, depend on you if you have a lot of questions. So... So that means uh, I'm available for appointments, no, for, for consultations after class. Because there's still that one and a half or one hour uh, time no, left. Because it should be five to eight. So, but, but still, let me know beforehand. Because no? sometimes I already have another schedule by 6.30 or 7 or I need to take care of something. Don't tell me that... Oh, sir, can you stay after class? Some, pag, pag pwede naman, okay lang. But please do uh, still set an appointment. If that doesn't work, my consultation hours are Fridays between 3 to 5. Uh, 
Uh, except for holidays. Wala naman yata ang holiday on Friday this semester. I don't think so. Important, <laughs> this is a new policy no, for online learning. Uh, a third party must be present. And that's to avoid yung harassment or potential harassment. Kasi, you know, most teachers naman um, are, are respectful. Pero there are bad apples no? within, within the faculty as well. So, kaya may rule na ganito. Or there's a new rule, no? If you can't, if you don't want to waste your classmates' time or you're too shy or you can't find another classmate uh, to join you and be a fly on the wall, uh, it's okay for a one-to-one -one session as long as both of us agree in writing that we will record the session and I'll send it to you and alter. So, yeah. so two options, either my third party present or uh, record na lang natin. And remember, the third party cannot be a family member. Sabi nila to keep it a bit more professional and academic. Maka matakot ako sa nanay ninyo. <laughs> but yun nga. So, so it cannot be a family member. But you don't have to consult with me no? if you have a quick question. No? Quick questions, clarifications can be done by email um, uh, through a Canvas message. Alam nyo na naman yan. I think you're, we're all veterans now of Canvas. No? We're used to it. So uh, you don't have to email me. You can just shoot me a Canvas message. But I'll let you know, man. If your if your question or query is more complex, then I'll tell you. Maybe this is better if we had a uh, consultation session. But in many cases, I try to respond to my immediately. So expect that I'll reply within twenty four hours. All right. So again, synchronous sessions each week. I will either recap the previous module. Depends where we are already. You know where you are in the module. So or introduce the next week's material in Canvas. So class time is 5 p.m. except holidays, and will just be between one, one and a half to two hours, or even less than one and a half. Any questions? Before we start with module one. There's a none for me, sir. All right, no worries. Okay, so we, we, none, sir. All right. So, yeah. so we start with module one. Okay, so uh, module one will cover in two sessions. Um, we'll do a global and country review of development challenges. Uh, I hope you guys started, no? Uh, you've already started with Todaro and some of the uh, readings and pages in Canvas. Uh, we'll talk about aspirations as well. And we'll just uh, distinguish between economic development versus economic growth. Uh, and then we'll, we'll end tonight with talking about sustainable development. Because there can be development, but it's not sustainable. The next week, naman, we'll, we'll finish module one. Uh, we'll cover the SDGs, the United Nations Global Goals. We'll also talk about what the role is, Patikimto for module five, what the role of the private sector is. Uh, and then uh, we'll also cover some, some you know, we'll see, you know, because before the COVID-19, there were already development challenges, pero with the pandemic, no, meron ng ibang classic development challenges. There were, uh, it's more, it brought uh, different kinds of challenges as well. And then I usually like to end module one by having a different paradigm about seeing or interacting with people. So next week, yon. <laughs> that's an intro for next week. Okay. So uh, just checking if there are no questions. All right. So first, no, I'd like to hear from you based on what you've heard or what you've read in the news. Um, I'm sure you guys have used Jamboard already. No? Uh, you guys are more technologically savvy than, than all these like us. So uh, I'll give you three to five minutes. Um, I'll paste. Wait lang ha. Let me paste the Jamboard um, address in the chat box. Uh, okay. 
uh, copy this in the chat box. Okay. Okay, so I'll give you three to five minutes on Jamboard. Okay. Um, there are two pages there. No? So what are some of the development challenges in the world? What are some of the development challenges in the Philippines? So two pages. No? So they might be the same. There might be differences. Please use uh, sticky notes. It's, I think it's the fourth one from the left. I'm trying to cluster them already. You know. Okay, let me check. Let me check page two. Some interesting things, no? That's not necessarily expected housing backlogs. Okay. Um, subpar education. I'll try to cluster them already, no? So let me, let me do this. Employment, employment, okay, COVID response, housing, I saw housing, population, semi feudalism, little or no, let me master this with this, import dependent, export oriented, 
poor working conditions, inequality, uh, cluster inequality here, and here, no. Sufficient government, lack of proper resources, corruption. Okay. Um, same issue that is. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, let's look at this first now. Can you see this, guys, on the screen? Can you see the jam board? I don't know, sir. I just see the PowerPoint. Ah, okay, okay. Let me stop sharing the PowerPoint. And now let's go through the Jamboard. Okay, let me see the Jamboard. Is this Jamboard? Yeah, this one. Okay, see so again. You can see it now, no? Yes, sir. Right, let's do this. So, yeah, so some of the probably expected things, and maybe I'll call some of you if, if you're okay with that. So poverty, check, of course, hunger, income inequality, inequality, uh, climate change is becoming a bigger problem now. Uh, and I sort of put sustainability and pollution somewhere it, they're kind of related, but it's not one to one. So, and then basic needs and services such as education and health are still lacking. No, and this is global. No, overpopulation, um, underpopulation. That's a good point. No, in some countries, no, they're having a hard time replacing quote unquote their 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 elderly. Uh, what do you call this uh, population? So, lack of job opportunities. Uh, I combine that with unemployment, imperialism, poverty, uh, corruption, and lack of accountability. Humanitarian crisis like wars and terrorism. I'm I'm intrigued by this uh, sticky note on imperialism. If you don't mind, no, if you can share with the class no, what you think. There are no right or wrong answers here. No, uh, we're exploring development challenges, no? and you might definitely be correct. No? So. Um, I am intrigued by this. What what does this mean? The imper who whoever wrote this imperialism? But if you don't want to speak about it, then I'm good. So yeah, go ahead. Yes, Marco. Hello. Um so if you're not familiar with the term imperialism, it's basically uh in essence how a foreign power would a uh, foreign stronger power would uh take control of a neo colony or like us the Philippines or uh uh, as of now, we're under the U.S. and uh, currently, medyo pumapasok na rin ang China, di ba? So that's more of what's happening like in the other countries like in Africa. The European countries are also taking the natural resources of um, the cobalt mines for the, for our phones, no? And then in the Philippines, they're also taking our uh, gold or other kinds of minerals. Okay. Actually, when we go through module... I think module three, no, there is, we're actually going to talk about uh, the neo imperialist uh, paradigms. So there are some, there are some pros and cons about that, uh, that sort of um, dimension, no? that sort of paradigm perspective. So yeah, thank you for that. No? Thank you for that. Okay, so we'll, we'll discuss more in module three. All right, let's go to the Philippines. All right. So housing backlogs, definitely corruption, um, inefficient justice system, semi-feudalism, import dependent, lack of proper resources, higher economy, but higher inequality. That's actually a good point. Um, uh, little opportunity for the marginalized, um, problems with sustainability, a lot of these mirroring no? the global challenges, the housing problems, subpar education, employment, um, overpopulation, food and water quality. A lot, some of these we will discuss in greater uh, depth. No? For example, uh, overpopulation, uh, 
health, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Neoliberalism. Um, again, I'm intrigued by this. Now, of course, I know what this means, but um, whoever wrote that, can you share? If you like, if only if you like. Those are me again. <laughs> I had an idea that it was you. Sige, Marco. Uh, in essence, neoliberalism is um, having the public services um, being privatized. So that's our health, uh, transportation, and even education. No? So if you notice that uh, yung Ateneo, di ba, mayroong mga, yung GFC or yung Jollibee Food Corporation CEO is part of our board of directors. So sila yung nakaka, well, if, if ano, nakaka-benefit din sila sa atin. And the other uh, marginalized sectors din na nagtitake na education, they also suffer badly from uh, the neoliberal education. Sige. Uh, this, this is a, an interesting paradigm. So um, we'll discuss that in greater detail. No? Kasi this course naman, and you might feel free, no? I mean, there are many perspectives when it comes to um, to development no? um, in each paradigm you're you're absolutely right no? there are pros and cons no? those who subscribe to a more neoliberal uh, paradigm they see the benefits no? rather than the weaknesses but you are right there are a lot of weaknesses but m mind you know what I would uh, what I would say no, here, but we, we learn through the semester, and please feel free not to disagree with me as well, no, or, or, or to question this. Um, in essence, no, uh, privatization is not necessarily bad sometimes. Uh, so sometimes it's, it's, it's how you structure things. And we'll, we'll, we'll uncover more, no? we'll discuss more how private sector, not, not tokenism, no? but how private sector should and can be a force for good rather than, you know, people seeing that they're evil. No? Um, and many people definitely see neoliberal capitalism and all their related paradigms as, 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 as not good. No? But, but we'll uncover both the pros and cons no? of all of these different paradigms. But thank you for that. Thank you, Marco. Um, yeah. Yeah. So these are all of the, the, the expected things. So let me end this now. I'll share the, um, the PowerPoint again. Uh, all right. And thank you for your participation, everyone. All right. So, um, module, the, uh, uh, this course is a sort of a light version. No? It's a development economics light course. No? Um, so, it's not super technical as, as, as development economics. No? Um, it's more about development rather than economics. Because um, if you read Todaro, no? uh, the classical definition of development economics is how uh, economies are transformed you know, from stagnation to growth and from low income to high income status and overcome problems of absolute poverty. But that is actually a very, for me, you know, that's actually a very conservative, ano pa nga, quite a traditional view. You know? Kasi it's all about, oh, you keep on growing your economy. It's all about growth. You know? And you know, in this course, we will, there's always a tension between income ba is already a sign of progress or do you focus more on the non-income things no, or variables in the country? So this course is more about development, no? more about uh, a broad sense of development versus just making money versus just income. So it's more development than economics. And we'll discuss more no, in, the, in the coming weeks. No? And you'll see this more in, in, in Canvas. All right. Um, in module one, no, I don't know if you've gotten this far already no, in, in Canvas. No? So just, just to recap, no? uh, if you don't know yet, no, there's this government agency called National Economic and Development Authority. No? So uh, in the previous administration, actually not during the Duterte administration, they, they actually did this Ambition Natin initiative no? where they went around the country no, 
they engage in, in different sectors, no? uh, communities, farmers, fisher folk, uh, business sector, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just to just to ask them, no, uh, what are your aspirations no? as a Filipino people? No? So it's basically this. Out of all of this, it's kind of expected, but it's good that they sort of documented what is a what's the aspiration of a typical or the average. Filipino family. So matatag, maginhawa, at panatag na buhay. So it, basically, ito yung, itong sinasabing out of all of those things, no, the next 20 years, uh, when you, when, what you, what Filipinos aspire for will be a stable and comfortable lifestyle. Basically, it's, it's sustainable, no, it's enough for their daily spending, but also for unexpected expenses. It's also for their children. You know, they have a place of their own. They have freedom, no? They're protected also by a clean, efficient, and fair government. So, yeah. So, that's, I don't know. So, this is just a preview, no? More details are in your Canvas modules. Um, ito naman. So, this is also in Canvas. I don't know if you've gotten this far already. Let me ask you now, no? uh, even if you haven't, you haven't watched the video, there's like a seven minute video. Just wanted to ask you, know, what's the difference between economic development and economic growth? Anyone? What's the difference between economic growth? Uh, Tin, Mariana. Hi, sir. So it's then, on what? Hi, sir. So based right. from what I read, economic growth is like focused on the economic indicators like the national income or the GDP and others. So and then when we talk about economic development, it's like it's broader than economic growth because economic development also encompasses non-economic indicators like the the well-being of the citizens. But I remember there is such a thing as the happiness indicator. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, thanks. Anyone else? Anyone else would want to weigh in? Okay, so yeah, so um, Dean was absolutely right. So traditionally, no. <laughs> Traditionally, they were synonymous. So once your your income as a country, no, is high enough, then you're already considered as developed. No? So uh, high rates of economic growth. No? Simply put, because you're not economics majors and GDP or GNP, that might be a bit too foreign for you, no. To simplify things, no. Basically, when you say GDP or gross domestic product or gross national product. It means your total economic output, the economic output, which is basically what, what the country has produced, and that's measured in monetary terms. So to simplify things, no, think of it as a pizza pie. Parang the bigger, the better. Usually, dapat, no? dapat no? the bigger, the better. Pero ang problema mo, it's always a question of how is the pizza distributed? Is it equitable, not equitable, kung ilang ba napupunta sa iba, etc., etc. So the way to, ano, so you don't have to deal with the, with the technical jargon of GDP, GNP. Liken it to a pizza pie. If it's growing, it's like a pizza pie that's growing bigger, uh, more, more resources for more people. Or if you want, as a microcosm, it's the income of a, uh, a household. So what an, a household takes home. So kunyari, si father, si mother, si, si elder brother, elder sister, etc. So ganun lang. GDP is basically your, the total things that you produce or total income you've, you've, you've gotten, you've achieved. So very nice. Eh? The problem is it's not sufficient no, to just grow the pie. No? Parang yun nga, 
Uh, kasi income lang yan. You can't live on pizza alone, <laughs> so to speak. So tama si Tin, economic development covers the overall quality of life. It's not just about income. Whether you think of it in country terms or whether you think of it in a household. No? It's basically, money is important. Don't get me wrong. No? Uh, yun nga eh. So ang, ang common refrain from economists is economic growth, having more money as a country or as a household is better, is necessary, but not a sufficient condition or it's only a single element of economic development. Kasi may iba pa dyan. Na indicators, variables like, for example, uh, access to health, access to water, and we'll go through all of these different things in module two so when we distinguish between income and non-income indicators. So income is important. You want the country to keep growing its economic resources, but that's not the be-all and end-all. When we go through module two, uh, income is fine, but there's also an additional question. How is that income distributed? Baka mamaya, you keep growing the pie, pero the poor don't get more of that pizza pie or the buko pie, whatever pie you want. Uh, so yeah, so that's when we talk about poverty, the twin, the twin topic is always inequality. So more in module two, when we talk about poverty and inequality. Okay, next question to you guys. What is sustainable development? What is sustainable development? Kasi diba, development means it's your, you're earning more income as a country or as a household and then you're addressing your other needs, no health, Education, clothing, food, whatever, etc., etc. What naman is sustainable development? What is it, sir? If um, if I may, I think it's development that does not necessarily have any negative effects on um, in the future. Yeah, definitely. the The fact is, uh, yes. Dylan, yes. I think sustainable development is the idea that human societies must live and meet their needs without compromising the ability of future generations to their own needs. Yes. Okay. Both of you are correct. Yeah. Definitely. So, so it, 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 it's about not sacrificing the future. So I like this. I like this cartoon. Because parang Development can be achieved, no, with with uh, with little regard of the environment. So, pwede yon, no. You can feed people, no, ganon ganon. Pero in a eh, uh, problem, eh, it it is not necessarily sustainable, no. And, and the the classic ano dito, classic examples are you know anything to do with the environment, no? When you're you're Dito na pumapasok yung climate change, when you're just cutting trees, no, uh, for your uh, present needs, no, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Eh, paano na yung future generations, no? Kaya nga, the word sustainable is, means, no, it's, it's sustained. It, it lasts a long time. It's not just to meet the current needs. No? So, check out the video of uh, Jeffrey Sachs. Uh, where the age of sustainable development in other SOCSI 13 classes, no, that's the main um, that's the main textbook. That's their main reference book. Uh, pero tayo, we have a, a video, a short video. And later on, no, for those who really are, you know, you champion the environmental concerns, you'll really like module three when we talk about the donut economics. No? It's a new way of thinking as well no, about sustainable development. Uh, we'll talk about the SDGs and other things next time. So really, you know, this, this, this particular session right now was really just to provide an introduction to the course, to what we're going to do, as well as set the stage. Because you know, we're talking about problems you know, and, and some high-level paradigms. 
we'll go into more technical details as we go along. Any questions for now? We're ending early, no? Kasi we're, we're, we're ano, warm up pa lang tayo. In the next few classes, we might uh, reach the 1.5 or one and a half hour mark. Any questions so far about the intro for module one or or module zero or the syllabus, class policies, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Oh, coach, I have a question. Go ahead, Vix. Um, for um the next module, when will it like be posted? Also, uh, it should be posted. Um, I, I think I I. I posted the the posting dates on Canvas, so check out module zero. There's 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 like a schedule there. No? Pero module two, I'll probably do that by next week. Uh, baka yung, I I I hope you you guys are not done with module one. Actually, many of I'm doing it piece by piece. No, because while I taught this course already last in the last two semesters. No? Usually, I don't just recycle my stuff. Usually, kasi, if you read the news every day, there's new material. It's more relevant. It's more contemporary. So I update my modules as well. Kaya sometimes it takes time. If I were just to use the entire uh, set of modules that I used last year, but I could have posted everything. So siguro next week. Siguro next week. Um, Thank you, Coach. Pero just ping me, no? If if in case some of you are already bored, you're done with module one, and you want module two already, let me know, no? So I can accelerate my posting. Because I also, again, sorry, uh, this is just a part-time job for me. No? I, I also uh, work full-time, so evening I can only spend evenings and the weekends doing this and holidays as well. Yeah, ngabuti may holiday ka. All right. Any other question? Uh, there's something in chat. Okay. No, no rush. First time kung matawag na coach, but that's fine. You can call me coach or sir, whatever you want to call me. No problem. All right. Any other questions before we call it a night or a day? So I'll also uh, post the the deck on Canvas no? in case you find it useful as well. So please tell your classmates who are not able to attend that I'll post the recording and the deck at the end of module one. I'll probably uh, upload the entire deck na lang. So if you want, you can already browse the deck for next week because it's the same deck. It's just a continuation of this. The SDGs, etc. etc. Okay? Okay, Tayo. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for coming. I'll see you hopefully next. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.